With the Liberian tanker, Amoco Cadiz, running ashore in March 1978, one of Europe's worst environmental disasters in maritime history commenced. Heading for Rotterdam, the ship hit rocks off Brittany and broke into two. 220,000 tons of oil escaped into the sea. Persistent storms prevented the oil from going ashore, but 10 days after the disaster, 200 kilometers of Brittany's coast were badly polluted. The small Acht of Holland's Rijkswaterstaat, the Directorate General for Public Works and Water Management, was at that moment the only ship which could actually remove oil from the water surface thanks to its sweeping arms. The Dutch economy, and with it the country's prosperity, depends largely on the supply and processing of oil. That oil is supplied across the North Sea, where there are some 70 drilling rigs extracting oil and gas. Since the natural features of the Dutch coast are biologically vulnerable, this involves major risks. Fortunately, no calamity has yet occurred, but the Dutch are taking precautions. The Smallacht was one of the first pollution clearance ships ever built. A former rock dumper, which in the 70s was converted into an oil spillage clearance vessel. The ship provided the necessary experience of using sweeping arms. By the end of the 90s, the small Acht needed replacement. So a multifunctional vessel was chosen, which in the first place would serve as a first line oil clearer. First line means it can operate in the oil slick, even if gas is released, which might even ignite at low temperatures. The ship was therefore certified as an oil recovery ship and thus meets the basic requirements for tankers with worldwide reach. Small Acht's replacement, the Arca, was in the first place designed to clear oil at sea in coastal waters and ports, which is why the ship was provided with two 15-meter long sweeping arms. Cranes with a constant tension system hold the arms stable overboard. Each sweeping arm has an adjustable overflow and a pump capable of processing the thickest oil water mixture. While cleaning, sailing speed can reach 1.5 knots. Besides sweeping arms, the ship also has a skimmer and two oil booms. A natural separation system on board the vessel 
processes the oil-water mixture. The principle here is the difference in specific gravity between the oil and the water. Heating on the outside of the storage tanks ensures the oil recovered remains fluid. The Arca has an oil storage capacity of a thousand cubic meters. The water below the oil is pumped overboard. If flammable or toxic gases escape from the oil, a detection system and a crew overpressure protection area with ventilation locks mean the vessel can leave a gas cloud safely. Arca, he Coast Guard 01. Coast Guard 01, Arca. We hebben een olievlek gesignaleerd op 5230 Noord en 0444 Oost. 5230 Noord. A good overview of oil pollution is obtained only from the air. For this reason, cooperation is close with Coast Guard aircraft. Okay, you heard some of us. Uh, Laten wij daar aankomen. Wij gaan in ieder geval nu naartoe. Open sluit. 